So if you've been following along on the interwebs, you've probably seen something's going on with D&D. What is Wizards of the Coast doing? Well, they're doing a new edition, kind of. They're calling it One D&D. It's going to be backwards compatible with 5th edition. And we're going to talk all about that, so stay tuned. Hello there and welcome back to another J&J Tabletop video. My name is Jake and of course with me as always is Josh. And yeah, this one D&D thing is kind of like what they did between 4th edition and 5th edition. And that was called D&D Next. And they basically just released a series of playtest material and the community gave feedback on it and the result was 5th edition. So I think they're kind of on the right track here again, Josh. Mm -hmm. I feel like... They're really kind of just reorganizing things more than they are actually making a new edition in the playtest document, which there'll be a link to in the description as well as many other links you should check out um, to find it. But it's just reorganizing things into like more current patterns and stuff. For example, like instead of getting your ability scores from your race, you're going to get them from your background instead. And that kind of makes sense, especially with some of the the trends it almost like a, a push for uh, for custom backgrounds too which is interesting one change they made to backgrounds that i really liked is is uh backgrounds all have a feet now speaking of feats feats are leveled <laughs> so the level yeah. that your feet is would be a level one feet on your background um i think that's an interesting interesting choice i i'm just i'm wondering the the type of builds that we're gonna see now that uh feats have level requirements yeah, I, the, the way they described it was they're kind of like class neutral features, which is why I guess uh, they decided to do that. And I think that's kind of good because some feats are clearly more strong than other ones. You can get you, Great Weapon Master, and your beautiful cousin, Sharpshooter. I kind of like this. It feels like a lot of the house rules that aren't official <laughs> are actually the, the rules that they want to play test. So it's kind of like... This isn't really new playtest material. You already know that people like it. So I'm pretty sure some of these are gonna gonna find their way in. The other changes to backgrounds, like they kind of removed the free place to sleep feature, uh, which if you're familiar with any of our jokes here, um, athlete sort of gets an indirect buff that way. Oh. <laughs> because now that has the, has the play, even playing field instead of only working half the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's that's great uh, for one D&D it's already the hero we need but not the one we deserve yeah exactly. <laughs> that's, that's awesome uh, it also seems like they really took inspiration and just doubled down on it like it's yeah. it's a way bigger deal now right isn't it I think so I think it's good because some of the classic player memes are like hoarding healing potions or I'm going to hoard inspiration and uh, a lot of tables do it differently and technically you're only ever supposed to have one which is still a thing but they're like, they're like, use the thing, would you? Like, if you don't, you lose it. So they want people to take risks. They want people to do things that are more dangerous. Why? Because it leads to hero moments and more ridiculousness and epic things at the table. So I, I like that. Yeah, who doesn't need more ridiculous things or hero moments? Buddy duddies. <laughs> <laughs> You're a buddy duddy, Josh. <laughs> Aside from that, it's... Uh... They redefined some terms, right? So natural 20s are automatic successes and natural ones are automatic failures. Yep. Uh, with the obvious stipulation being if something's not possible, a 20 doesn't mean you succeed. You shouldn't yeah. have even rolled. I'd like them to make it a little more clear, but they said only do a roll if the minimum requirement is a DC 5 and the maximum is a DC 30. If you're outside, mm -hmm. out of that range, it's either too easy to fail or impossible to succeed and which people are still going to do it, but that's the, yeah. that's the rules. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. And also an interesting thing is a natural 20 doubles down on the inspiration, gives you the inspiration. Just like you said before, they're emphasizing that, which is kind of neat. That's not the only thing a natural 20 does though. No, that's uh, the, they changed it up a little bit. Now only players and weapon attacks can become a critical hit. Sorry, spellcasters. As much as I love my spellcasters and as much as I kind of don't even think the rule makes sense, I'm fine with playtesting this. Again, all of this is playtest material, so it mm -hmm. could or could not make it. It's a little, it's a little weird that a monster can't. Rules yeah, right that's actually one that I, I would really love to hear people comment on because 
if I'm DMing and my monster rolls a natural 20, they're going to do a crit. It's part of the game. The spell of casters not being able to crit either is, I don't know, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I, I don't, I guess I don't feel as strongly about it, but that's because they're not my main thing. Um, yeah, I, they are my main thing and I kind of don't care because I'm not, <laughs> if I'm playing, if I'm playing a spellcaster, I'm playing it to do the weird things they can do on the battlefield or like mm. teleport people across the world or something like that. Like I'm not thinking, I don't have damage dealing fantasies <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm thinking about playing a wizard. Like I can do it, but it's not the same. Like that's, that's the fighter's job. That's the paladin's job, you know? Yeah. A lot of their uh, really cool abilities are, are saving throws anyway, not damage rolls or, or attack rolls. But another change yeah. they're doing, which I think is really cool, is uh, feel like they're... Slow, down, slow down? down there, buddy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm moving too quickly. You should put the slowed condition on me. Which is an official condition now. I don't know. That's, we're weird sometimes. Four uh, E had much better definitions of conditions. I'd love to see them do that for surprised and just make it official. You're either surprised or you're not, and this is how that affects you. And be a little more clear. And if you're not clear how that works, look at my surprised video because it'll show you how it works. One thing that they did, which I think is really good, especially if they add new classes to the game, and you don't have to make new feats for this. Uh, they organized magic into three magic lists this isn't going to affect classes necessarily even though you will see very clear themes with them but they have the arcane list the divine list and the primal list arcane being your wizard your bard your sorcerer your warlock divine clerics and paladins primal druids and rangers and if you take the magic initiative feat you pick one of those three and you just go from there i think that definitely makes sense i'm surprised yeah. that that wasn't already a thing but i i like it i like that it opens up the idea the idea of potential future feats that might affect arcane spells or primal yeah. spells or things like that i i feel like oh. that makes it opens the door a little better and again that's a 4e thing people hated 4e but guess what we're starting to drift a little bit back from that pendulum swing and i know oh, it yeah. might ruffle some feathers but the past four threes, years Wizards of the Coast has been just, they're like, oh, let's put a little bit more for you. Yeah. Uh, just a little bit more for you. You know, yeah. we, you know, we could just, how about some just fourth edition for you? <laughs> um, <laughs> I liked 4E. <laughs> I've never played it, but I, I like a lot of things. But we've talked about this before. Yeah. You watch our videos, you know this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't hate on 4E here. Nope. We hate on Pathfinder. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't want you to three act to that too strongly <laughs> and if you want you can give us a like or a dislike and let us know about it in the comment section <laughs> so as jake mentioned before wizard of the coast is going to be releasing on earth arcana i believe monthly so we could play test one D D. so this was the first one not a ton going on here it's kind of hard to judge whether this is going to be good or bad or or whatever. Right now, seems status quo. Couple cool changes, couple questionable changes. But regardless, if you want to learn more about one D D or D D fifth edition, drop us a subscribe, follow us, check out the playlists because we have all sorts of stuff on there. And as they release new playtest material, we're gonna check it out. And when it's something maybe more significant, we're gonna actually playtest it too. So stay tuned. And if there's anything that you saw in there that you have questions about, just Drop us a comment, ask us about it, or join the Discord, and we'll talk about it there. So thank you, everybody. Have a great day.